That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Oh, no tears, please. It's a waste of good suffering. Fairly alarmed here. <laughs> <laughs> Next on our list is one of the more otter looking in uh Cenobites, I would say, of the gash, as it were, is uh Sam Bamford's Butterball, who was the overweight Cenobite that you saw briefly in Hellraiser One and Hellbound Hellraiser Two. Uh out of the four He's not the most visually appealing, I would say, but he's quite fascinating just in his inclusion in this, in this, in the film. Like it almost, he's almost a balance, you know what I mean? To this whole, everyone seems kind of glamorous in their horror, you know? He looks like a thumb. He does look like a thumb. (laughs) (laughs) Actually... He looks like a morbid version of Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. Actually. Yes, yes. Yeah, I kind of don't like it now that I say that. <laughs> I can just imagine <laughs> him under the sea, you know, to, you know, working on Squidward. But it's <laughs> making true. Him a, making him a Cenobite. Oh my god! Oh man! But uh, this whole look, uh, the goggles, uh, kind of like when you first introduced to him in the film, he's just licking his lips like I, I, I can't wait. <laughs> to, 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 to cause infinite pleasure you know he never speaks a word he doesn't really do much he gets punched in the movie by Kirsty, i think she just socks so. him yes he just he just goes down he's he's not that tough you know but he looks like he's good at what he does <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> it's funny because i originally thought like it may have been a, an actual overweight person in the in the suit but no it was all a bodysuit it was her, yes it was a fat suit yeah, it's super cool. Uh, and kind of like their idea for him was that his gash, as it were, was that his stomach was filled to burst and that his, right. his stomach, you can't really see it because they really don't show a lot of him in the films, but he does have an actual split open stomach with like pieces of his intestine kind of coming out. Like he just had way right. too much. He Like he, he has, spent 20 bucks at, you know. <laughs> right, and he has hooks opening it if i'm correct right right he has hooks kind of spreading it out kind of like okay so if this is happening i'm gonna rock it 100 <laughs> percent. oh yeah you know it's like if, if you have ever spent 20 bucks on taco bell that's just way too much money to spend there oh that's my god <laughs> it just splits open because you've had like 25 uh soft tacos and now it's over but no um I think his look is complimentary. He's one of the only ones that actually has a bit of color to his suit. Mm-hmm. Where with the white little fanny pack he has, <laughs> he has like a little like a, like you were mentioning earlier, like with being a butcher, he has kind of like a, a butcher's robe on top of his robe. Right. Yes. That yes. He, that he keeps his little tools of uh, of torture. Tools of work. yes. Tools of torture. Tools of engagement. Yeah. Yes, he's like you seem like a clamps kind of person. They spend ten thousand years on clamps. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so another really, um, you mentioned this earlier. So he does have a pair of, I don't know if they're glasses or what they are, but they're on his eyes, and they hide away the fact that his eyes are stitched together, that his eyelids are stitched. Which, yes, absolutely. Like, the closer you look, it's like, oh, that's actually really gross. Like, I'm glad he had sunglasses on for a part of the film. <laughs> he's the only guy. He's one of those guys who wears shades at at a nightclub. You know what I mean? He's he's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he comes to the club with shades on. It's like eleven o'clock at night. Exactly. Yeah, he's that guy. But yeah, his eyes his eyes are literally stitched open, which makes me think that he has that whole event horizon thing where he no longer needs mm. eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's another. Check out Event Horizon if you've never seen it like Hellraiser. <laughs> I have a feeling it'll be right up your alley. I'll check it out, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've never seen Event Horizon? No, actually. Ooh, there you go, Alejandro. That's, that's homework, <laughs> man. I think it's I think it's free on Netflix or Amazon or something like that. It, check it out. It's it's awesome. But, well, you know, um, I was looking for something to watch today, so there we go. There you go. You see? Mistakes in the miracles. I love it. Uh, <laughs> but he 
does have so, uniformity. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so Butterball, I believe, was designed to look um, as if it would be impossible for him to eat anything else. Exactly. And I think in looking at his torn open stomach, like the impression I get is that he can also put his hand in there and just kind of interact with his organs, which I think adds to the creepy, grisly factor of these Cenobites. Yeah, kind of like, because I, I, I guess they still have to feel... I guess they're so beyond the treatment right, right. that they, I think if you, if you've had to treatment for so long, it's, you're numb to it, you then become a Cenobite. So him kind of wild working on someone, he just kind of digs out, pulls out an intestines, yeah. wipes, wipes it on your chin just to bother you, puts it back, you know, <laughs> you know, c- completes it. I think that's a cool little addition to him. Um, and I do like the uniformity of the suit. He also has those weird, little pinky gloves that everybody yes he does gets, yes he does which i feel bad for him because he, he must make his hands sweat like crazy um his suit is a little different than uh i would say the others they all that's one thing i love about the, the the detail of these they're not just straight starfleet uniforms they don't all look the same with a different color there's mm-hmm. different intricate changes to them like the collar or even his infinite rolls on his neck with him having no ears which is kind of kind of creepy into itself. So where's his sunglasses going? I guess if you're a Cenobite, they just drill them into your head. I guess so. Like they're just stuck inside of his skin. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, back in old cartoons where, you know, bunnies would have headsets on. be <laughs> 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 On their cheeks, but their, their ears are flapping straight up. So I think he has a similar situation. Alejandro Ford, Butterball. If you can change one thing about his iconic look to make it a bit more uh terrifying or add to the fashion of his style what would you adjust for him i would probably have the gash on his stomach opening all the way up to his chest ooh kind of Just like have it all blood. wide open that sounds cool yeah like cuz there's not much going on in the chest area you know right I mean? right it's, it's just it's, covered by leather yeah it's just flat undetailed leather so why not just have the the, the hooks go all the way up his torso up to his neck, you know what I mean? They just have exactly. it all over. So you can see the bulge of his stomach, like, just totally popping out with with the intestines all fully open. Exactly, exactly. Keep everything in place, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be a cool look, actually. Probably something they couldn't do back way back when, when they were doing the visual effects on these on these guys. But, um, yeah, if I, can, if I can change anything, I would probably have them show a little bit more skin. Kind of similar to what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Maybe let those guns out. You know, sun's out, guns out. Let his arms... <laughs> <laughs> let, his, let his arms breathe a little bit. Oh, my God. That actually, you know? yeah, that would look really cool. You know, like, because it's already kind of a vest, you know, when it comes to his ch- ch- chest piece. Have, like, stuff going on with his arm. Maybe have, like, varicose veins popping out of Ooh. the white. You know, give it that weird color contrast. Be really and gross, also- but really cool. Exactly, G- gross but cool. That's what that's the cool thing about Cenobites. You know what I mean? Uh, they're horribly a- attractive. <laughs> you know, that's what <laughs> going for. cool, cool, cool. So I think that wraps it up for our good old friend Butterball here, a classic member of the Order of the Gash. Yes. 